hearty good morning to all from our new oxford modern english course book in page number 54 we have lesson 4 extreme weather students extreme weather is a lesson in which we will get different types of recalls news and informations regarding weathers humans have to contend with heat cold rain wind storms fog humidity and many more weather conditions now to protect from these weather conditions humans have created umbrellas sunscreens air conditions fans heaters thermal clothing etc the extreme weather would create problems and take the form of natural disaster by the way do you know what the extreme weather is extreme weather is an unexpected unusual severe or unseasonal weather when the weather and human life is not balanced in a proper way one or the other destruction is caused in our environment which affects human life even the other creatures are influenced too no one can escape the extreme weather so as our body balances the temperature we survive if it is unbalanced we would lose our lives students in this lesson we will talk about some points which are related with the weather point number 1 weather station point number 2 hottest parts of the world point number 3 coldest parts of the world point number 4 driest parts of the world point number 5 wettest parts of the world point number 6 beza weather point number 7 fish frog toad and spider rain and in point number 8 we will visit the wonders of water and the marvelous mountains of meghalaya india welcome back to the lesson the extreme weather point number 1 weather station a weather station is a facility either on land or sea with instruments and equipment for measuring atmospheric conditions to provide information for weather forecasts and to study the weather and climate in some places records have been kept for many years but in other places the extreme conditions have made it almost impossible for scientists to set up or maintain recording equipment point number 2 hottest parts of the world According to the World Meteorological Organization's Global Warming and Climate Extreme Archive, temperature in Furnas Creek in Death Valley, USA, reached the international extremes when they hit 134 degree Fahrenheit in 1913, the hottest temperature recorded in the world. Beside this, in 2005 in the Dastilut Desert in Iran, Scientists measured the highest surface temperature of 159.3 degree Fahrenheit. You know, life does not grow or develop in extreme temperatures. Nothing, not even bacteria lives in the middle of the Dastilut desert. Point number 3, coldest parts of the world. Some coldest places are there where life does not support. Onikon, Russia, which has a population of around 500 people, is the coldest permanently inhabited place on earth and is found in the Arctic Circle, northern pole of cold. Point number 4, driest parts of the world. Chile in South America has a highest plateau in the north of the country called the Atacama Desert. The average rainfall is about 15 mm per year. Next is the Antarctica where the large ice free region has very low humidity and contains the dry valleys of desert. Here powerful winds rush down the sheer mountain walls at the speeds of up to 320 km per hour heating and evaporating any ice water and snow. You know the landscape is so arid that scientists are very interested in studying it. Why? Because it is the place on earth that is more similar to the conditions on the planet Mars. Point number 5. Wettest parts of the world. 
The best example is Meghalaya, India. Here, the yearly rainfall is over 11 meters. The village of Mausuram in Meghalaya gets the title of the wettest place on earth, nearly 12 meters of rain on average per year. Once again, welcome back to the lesson, the extreme weather. Point number six, Beza weather, meaning very strange or unusual weather. This type of weather is more unusual than the extreme weather. The British people usually talk about this type of weather. Why? Because the temperature, rain and wind change day by day and hour by hour in the United Kingdom. But you know, if it spreads its arm, one could not escape the Beza weather. This Beza weather leaves a mark wherever it goes. It is not the fact that only the British talk about the Beza weather. The entire world talks about this. The Beza weather can be powerful and dramatic. It can take the form of tornadoes, blizzards and heat waves. Point number seven, fish, frog, toad and spider ring. The report says that in Yoro, Honduras, the people have fish rain celebration. In Singapore, on 22nd February 1861, fish appeared in puddles after a big rainfall. Some report of fish rain were of Moose joined Canada, Loreto in the Philippines, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh in India. Amazingly, in 2013, spiders rained down on a town in Brazil. In 2010, frogs and toads fell in Hungary twice. And in 1894, it rained jellyfish in Bath, England. Now, come to the last point, means our point number 8. Visit Meghalaya. Students, it is our fortune to get together and visit Meghalaya. Meghalaya is a state in Northeast India. Meghalaya is heaven on earth with its lush valleys, pristine waterfalls and other worldly views in the monsoons. The weather plays an extremely important role in deciding when to visit Meghalaya. Summer in Meghalaya lets you enjoy the best. Let's view some amazing sights. First is our living route bridges. Possibly Meghalaya's most famous attraction deep in the dense tropical forest and shrouded in cloud and rain for much of the year are some astonishing man-made natural wonders known as living route bridges. The fact is that the inventive members of the Khasi tribe have trained them to grow them the roots of ancient rubber trees natives to the northeast region. Second is our Molinog. This is the scene of Molinog village known as cleanest village in Asia by a travel magazine. It is also called God's own garden. It's possible to stay here in a basic village guest house. The locals have constructed a remarkable sky view platform from bamboo atop the highest tree in the forest and from there you can view across to Bangladesh. Third is our Dauki. In the West Jaintia Hills, the border town of Dauki is worth visiting for its pristine Amaral Ungut River. Line border between India and Bangladesh is situated here. You can enjoy boat ride and waterfalls along the way. Fourth is our Krang Suri Falls. This is small waterfall but stunning. 
It is located in the West Jaintia Hills. You can go swimming. For this, you will be told to wear a life jacket. Fifth is our Mofilang Sacred Forest. It is situated in the East Khasi Hills. Mofilang is home to a sacred plant grove of the Khasi tribe. It is full of medicinal plants. Tribe members also perform animal sacrifices and burn the bodies of their dead inside it. Six is our Latlam Canyon. In this place, you will feel like you have reached the end of the world. Seventh are our caves. The most frequently visited cave is Mosmai near Cherapunji. It maintains a show cave for tourists. Many caves would be sited in this area, such as the Garden of Caves, Arwa Cave, Siju, a boat cave, Cream Dam, a long sandstone cave, Liat Pra, the longest natural cave in India, and many more. Eighth are our monoliths. Many mysterious monoliths can be found spread across Khasi and Jaintia Hills erected by the region's tribes as a symbol of remembrance. Ninth is our Moringkang Bamboo Trek. This trek opened in 2017. It starts out from Walken village in the East Khasi Hills and will take you to the top of massive Moringkang, the legendary king of stones. You know, the trial extends over a series of connected bamboo bridges built by locals and terrifying hugs the side of a huge shield rock face in part. Now, below is a deep gorge and river. The trek will take two or three hours. So, if you are scared of heights, avoid it. Tenth is our Garo Hills. If you are a nature lover, you can't miss this. The vast densely forested area is home to the Knock Creek Biosphere Reserve, Siju Wildlife Sanctuary and Bal Pekram Natural Park. It's full of biodiversity including hundreds of species of butterflies. Students, after a long travel and being very tired, Let's enjoy in the Iyuda Bada Bazaar. In this market, local Khasi women come to sell their produce and livestock. You will get some tasty local street food here too. The market is a fascinating place to walk through. So, take a round, enjoy warmly and let's return to our local place. Students, so, how was your trip to Meghalaya? Which place you liked most and which not? Let me know in the comment box. Thank you.